Hey friends, it's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally share with you all my complete family room. Just explain our thought process in changing a formal dining room into a family room. If you guys watch my empty house tour, you know that we do have a family room and also a formal dining room, but the layout in our family room, it just was not comfortable enough for like family gathering like you could still watch tv but just the layout alone just didn't make sense to make it a cozy inviting fun family nights for myself and my family so it shows that you can be very creative with your space you don't have to use the space for what is attended for eventually we will definitely change the space back as our family grow but we have no family um, locally so why have a formal dining room that would just be collecting dust further ado let's get started I hope you guys love the space as much as we do As you may see, I created a warm and inviting space for my family. I really wanted the space to be comfortable but at the same time beautiful. This is like the first, one of the first homes that you do see when you walk into a home. So although it is a family room, I just wanted to make it kind of like formal at the same time. So I was very intentional with everything that I did with this room from the or that we did with this room from the decorative molding on the wall and also the life fixture that does just add a pop of wildness one of the other things that i did is i shop my home a lot and there's a lot of things that i would love to replace uh eventually like the console table um slash buffet table if you guys been with me for a while you guys know that i had this in my previous dining room and this came from pure one um, and also my coffee table that's also discontinued. I would definitely link it down below. Um, I would love to change the top to something more um, kid friendly, a little bit less traffic print, but for right now, I love, love, love how it looks. It looks real, real good. And also the orchid arrangement is from Wayfair. I'll link that below. I love the fact that it is a huge piece that just makes a statement and we can just take it down when we're ready to enjoy a movie um, and also relax. So I really, really love that about this space. On this side, I have my lamp that I have for my previous home. And this, if I can find it, I'll link it. Um, I think I found it on Amazon, uh, but definitely check the description box. But this came from my old home as well. And also this Nessic console table. This came from Inspire Me Home Decor. But it is currently not available. It's out of stock. So if I can find anything similar, I will definitely link it down below. My sectional is from Wayfair. And I love it because it's a performance fabric. Also stain resistant, UV resistant. And it is kid friendly. So love, 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 love that. Although you guys might be nervous having neutral color or lighter furniture when you have kids. But... For my personal experience, it's best to have something lighter but definitely performance fabric so you can see the dirt and clean it off once you do see it versus um, darker furniture, you don't see it and you can be sitting on something gross for a while it would not even known until you deep clean it my last video where i deep clean my dining room chair they're black and they're very good at hiding dirt but love love this one we had stains um spilled on it and it came straight right off um so i really really love it but obviously do what's com comfortable and best for your family but my kids are a little older my youngest is nine so um, yeah, we definitely love, love this space. The only thing I love for my previous sectional, if you've been with me, is that it's deeper. This one is not as deep, but we still love it. It's customized. And also when we had this sectional delivered, we find out that it's local to North Carolina. So we definitely support a small business in our state. 
on to the life fixture like you guys know i'm all about my rh right now but you know that stuff is quite expensive so i found this life fixture on amazon is definitely a dupe for the restoration hardware life fixture um originally i ordered the same life fixture with a different vendor but i didn't have an adapter to make it a little longer i really wanted an adapter just to give it that wildness i wanted the life fixture to fall at the level of the molding on the wall so i'm happy i returned the first one and i got this one i absolutely love it talk about curtains now these curtains look my god the next video you definitely want to see it we had some hiccups along the way of these curtains so I have a total of six velvet curtains on this wall and I wanted the curtains to be from like wall to wall on this particular wall just to make a statement and the hardware is from Amazon now. If you get it and you do get these velvet curtains, you have to add additional support. So we did have an incident that you guys will see in my next video. But yeah, I love, love, love it. It is so rich. It just makes some space look so elegant and so beautiful without even doing much. So another thing I did, I added sheer curtain in the back. So these are double curtain rods reflect more light into the room but also when we want to have like family movie nights we can just close these um velvet curtains because they're blackout just to you know extract all the light so we can enjoy time as a family now it's all about the little details but this sectional came with so many pillows so the pillow in the front is actually from z gallery it came from my previous home so the three pillow behind this brown pillow came with the sectional as well and this pillow right here i got from home good if you watched my last haul you probably seen it i just love 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 taupe and brown it's all the way throughout my home on this side i have the exact same pillow from z gallery and also another pillow that came with the sectional <laughs> 